In this walkthrough, you will learn how to translate a single document in your SharePoint folder using Power Automate Flow. Let's build a quick example. To start, we'll navigate from the Power Automate homepage and create a flow. And then we'll choose an instant cloud flow. We'll give a name like Translate Document Demo. Now, let's manually trigger the flow and click on Create. Let's click on the new step and search for SharePoint Connector. Now we'll select Get File Content. Next, we'll enter the SharePoint folder and select a file. Now we will click the next step and search for Azure Blob Storage and select Create Blob Action. This is needed for processing the documents. Let us click on the three dots and add connection to make sure we are using the right credentials. On authentication type, select Azure AD Integrated and click Sign In. Now, we'll enter the storage account name and folder path, which is the path to the source container. You can find these details in Azure Portal. Check the other video in the description on how to create resources for translating documents. Next, we will enter the blob name which is the file name that you want to translate. The content of the blob will retrieve the output of the get file content, and this is done by navigating to the dynamic content. Let's go ahead and search for Microsoft Translator Connector. Then we will select Start Document Translation Action. On the connection name, we'll write any friendly name and enter the translator resource key and name. On the storage type, let's select File because we are translating a single document. The source language is the language of the original document and will be auto-detected by default. Next, we will enter the location of source document which is basically the path of the Azure Blob Storage Source Container. Note that we added the file name. We will do a similar thing for target location. And finally, we will select a target language to translate the file to, adding a delay of one minute to ensure that the document is processed for translation. We need to know the status of document translation so for that we will add a new action to get the document status and add the operation ID in this field. Now we need to add some logic on retrieving the translated file from the Azure Blob Storage and drop the file in SharePoint. When the document translation is in progress, we need to check the status and add a condition on if the status is completed denoted by 1, then we can proceed with next steps. When the document translation is completed, we need to fetch the document from Blob Storage, you can refer to the details in the document that's linked in this video description. Next, we will create a new folder using SharePoint Connector where we want to store the translated document. Note that the translated language is added as a name of the folder for easier reference. And finally, we will create a file that has the contents of the translated document. We will now save this flow and then test. We are going to select manually and then test. Run the flow. As the flow is running, let's look at the Azure Blob Storage containers. We'll navigate to the source and we can see the original file that's being processed for translation. While the flow is nearing completion, let's go back to the Azure Blob Storage and view the target container. We can see the translated file within a folder which contains the first two letters of the translated language. 
In this case, it's Japanese. Once the flow is successfully completed, we can see the translated file in SharePoint. This is how you can create flows to translate single or multiple documents. Check out the detailed tutorial in the description below.